Hey guys, Fire here, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Shoot Vader's The Beginning. This game is developed by Seven Raven Studios and published by Turtle Console, and they were nice enough to send me a copy of the game. Uh, it's currently available in the Xbox Store for $7, and it's a shoot 'em up style game. But a, a shoot 'em up style game that challenges you to push the limits further and further as you play. So I'll talk a little bit about the, the game and play a little bit at the same time so you can see what it's like. So when you first start your game, you're going to see that you have a couple things that you can equip for your ship, but there's you're going to have to go through missions and kind of be going further and further each time as you upgrade your stuff with alien material, coins, and additionally stars that are going to allow you to increase and improve your ship. Now as you buy those upgrades, you're going to be able to equip things to your ship. So as you can see here, we can equip some weapons to the front of our ship to kind of give us a better leg up in combat. And then those stars that we can then use to equip stuff with are going to be what allow us to get kind of uh, upgrades and buffs to our ship from getting additional rate of fire to magnets to collect stars to more amount of stars that appear on your screen. And then what you can additionally do is buy more upgrades with those that are going to allow you to push further and further in your runs and really allow you to pick which resources you want to manage. Now the way the game goes is you basically just get a couple lives and go as far as you can. Now you're going to be presented with waves as you're playing and those waves are going to just be consistently ever growing enemies as well as you're going to get presented with different upgrades and pickups. As you can see in the top of your screen you'll have your wave number, kills, stars, score, but you're also going to have your alien material and coins. That's how the stuff that you're going to collect throughout your runs that allow you to buy more and more gear to have better weapons from the market. And then the stars here are what you collect that are going to allow you to then progressively push through the game. Now one thing that I'm not a big fan of about the game is, is from the starting point of the game, it doesn't do that good of a job or even have an area that walks you through kind of the controls, basics, or anything. So I'll do that right now. A quick glance at the controls. You're going to move around with your left analog stick and you're going to be shooting with your right stick. Now you can hold that indefinitely. Now there's two other buttons that you're going to care about. If you look at the right side of my screen, that little purple like crosshair symbol and then the red little missile nuke thing, you're going to control those by using X on your controller to use your shield and then A will be what you use to trigger your little nuke weapon when you pick those up. Those are all picked up by those kind of floating circle upgrades that you can see on the screen right now that allow you to pick up things and then use those weapons. Now, your nuke isn't going to be super powerful until you begin to progress it and get further and further into the game, but that's going to be something that you're able to upgrade over time to make more and more powerful while you're playing. Now, the way the game functions is you're going to do a handful of waves, I believe it's usually four, and then you could go through this narrowed alley. And the narrowed alley is basically an obstacle course. Now, be careful here because you can see the walls, but those crystals actually within the walls, if you touch those, your ship will blow up. So you have to avoid everything while also managing your health, which is indicated on the right side of your screen. So it's kind of a mix of everything you have going on. In your first couple runs, you're not going to get very far as you're not going to have that good of weapons or upgrades to really push the envelope. But as you get further, you're going to be able to interchange those weapon packs and between human and alien weaponry that are going to allow you to get further and further in the game. And additionally, things will ramp up pretty significantly as you push yourself further and further in the game as well, but it's all done in a very tasteful package that's easy once you kind of understand how the game works, and like I said, that's one of the detractors I have for the game is they don't really teach you how to play the game. Now, if you know how to play shoot 'em ups you know, you can figure it out pretty quickly, but that entry level for new gamers kind of isn't there because there's just a lack of teaching how in the world do you play the game. 
So unless you watch a video like this, you're not really going to have a clue on what your controls are. You can probably figure it out, but it took me a few runs to really finally figure out what my actual shield buttons were and the nuke buttons, and I had to die a couple times to figure that out, which probably impacted my score, but, you know, maybe not, because, you know, I wasn't that good at the beginning as I was trying to learn everything a anyway. But through a lot of trial and error, you're going to be able to push yourself further and further within the game, and as you push yourself further and further, it's only going to allow you to gain more and more distance. You know, you might get on one run to level 5 and wave 5, and then you might get to wave 8 the next run, and then be able to just interchange different weapons and things in the game to just continue to push that envelope further and further while you're going. Now, I'm going to intentionally kind of crash my ships here, but because I want you to be able to kind of see um, what the end screen is without me going through every single thing in the game. So, once you f finish your run, you're going to get transferred to this kind of last flight screen, which is more or less just a performance display of how, how you're doing in the game. And then you'll get to see how you compare on your leaderboards throughout the game. Now, the game features solo and local co-op, so if you have a friend you can play the game with, um, and you can have your current high scores post on this kind of personal leaderboard. Uh, unfortunately, there's no online leaderboards, which would be kind of cool to be able to see, um, but you can always revisit your, your leaderboard. As far as like some adaptability stuff, you can't really adjust the music and sound in the game. You can just turn the music off, but you can't do any Anything for the actual sound of the game, which is definitely kind of interesting. There's a hint system, but again, like I was saying, there's no controls. So you don't, <laughs> it's probably an oversight and a pretty big one from a usability perspective. So I hope the developers and publishers work in an update just to maybe show a controller layout. And then, you know, yeah, as, as far as my th thoughts on sh sh in the beginning, I think it's a pretty fun shmup. Um, I, I like that you kind of have to continually grind and work for getting one step further and f further in the game and it feels rewarding when you finally unlock some some new weapons to use in f future runs um the downsizes is just like i said that uh, barrier to entry for anyone who's not familiar with smups or you know even figuring out some of the controls in the game um that were definitely a, a little uh, unknown to me. I was hitting B and Y and everything in between trying to figure out what to do and if a button did something. But yeah, overall though, I, I would recommend Shoot Vaders at the beginning. It's a pretty fun shmup and it's a rewarding shmup for that as well. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you want to support the channel, I'd love a thumbs up and a potential subscription uh, if you don't mind. And I hope you consider checking out one of the other two videos that should be on screen now. Have a blessed rest of your day.